my father, Don, I didn't remember him. Um, I didn't meet him really until I was seven or eight. Oh, that was a classic story. Um, I met, so I didn't know, I didn't remember that, um, that my stepfather wasn't my real dad. I didn't remember that my real dad, Don, tried to kill me with a pillow, I know, and try and hurt me so badly I was in the hospital. He did. So uh, I, I learned about um, being a sexual being before I really understood what was going on. Mm. And um, he was also very inappropriate around the house. He would, he would um, be exposed, although he had a robe on, he would purposely expose himself um, yeah, he was really inappropriate uh, and I had no idea what I would do when the plane landed. All I knew was that I was taking care of my brothers again and I was mom again. And I almost got into it, like literally got into it with my mother because one of the twins was selling drugs out of the house. Um, these kids had never been taught even how to balance a checkbook. They didn't know anything. And I was, I was mom all over again, 26, mom. Tundra is like quicksand. Do you no know way. what? Mm -hmm. wow. We came across tundra, and tundra it looks like grass, but it actually, as soon as you step in it, you sink, oh, just wow. like quicksand. And we ended up in more tundra, and we hadn't passed that on the way in. We were trying to go home, so we oh, ended wow. up in tundra, and and it was deep, and it's Alaska, and so the mosquito is the national bird. I just assumed you know that. <laughs> <laughs> the, there's a book called Mutant Message Down Under, and it was an American woman who ended up inadvertently on a walkabout in Australia. <laughs> Oh. And uh, yeah, so the Aborigine will change their name based on the gifts that they have to bring to the tribe. So if you feel like you're a really good hunter, then that's your name. Good mm -hmm. hunter. You know, mm -hmm. if you feel like you're an awesome seamstress, your name's awesome seamstress. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever you feel you bring to the tribe is your name. That's your gift. When I took 20 sleeping pills and um, know that half of one would put me to sleep, and I said, well, that's it. And I prepared my house and, and I, a note. And I said, that's it, you know, um, I did. And I, and I wasn't scared. I, you know, I didn't run for, you know, for help. Um, I just said, okay. Cause this voice in me kept saying, just go ahead, just do it. You're going to die trying to do anything with your life. You're just going to die trying. This wasn't, wow. and, mm -hmm. and, and as a, as it would happen to be, I got involved in, in, uh, in drugs and in, especially in crack. Um, uh, a friend introduced me to it. I stayed away from it for five years and then somebody else introduced me to it. And then I was in, I was in for, for a while. And, um, uh, I was into the point where I lost my house because I wasn't working. Um, I was living with the dealer and he turned violent and mm -hmm. I, was running away from him and jumped over, climbed up a fence. And when I jumped down, I broke my foot. It's an exercise that I put everybody through. And thanks for asking. It's so simple to do. And it started with an inventory on a piece of paper where you write the words, I believe. And line by line by line for, I don't know, three or four months, I wrote down everything that I thought, every freaking thought. And I was able to suss out the ones that were silly or didn't make sense, or they maybe maybe made sense a long time ago, but they don't anymore. One of the most significant moments in my life was a, th a therapist whose whose attention um, changed my entire being. For once, I didn't feel crazy, and he acknowledged, accepted, and um, and uh, sort of was compassionate, I guess. So uh, being heard is amazing being understood is incredible being accepted is transformative <laughs> and you listen to it right you know if you listen to it then you're not gonna have a crisis later so i'm just saying about that part but as far as it goes in midlife you know the the concept about it is is a, a reassessment well it's also one of the phenomenons about it is that uh, you all the things that you accumulated whether it's beliefs or a bunch of really bad hats or a lot of shoes, or some really shitty people in your life. All of it, all of it goes. It goes, and 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 you're, you're then your 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 period of accumulation is now the opposite. You're uncluttering your mind. You're uncluttering your world. You're looking at what's next, 
when in doubt, wait it out. Because there's some reason that you're not getting a big yes on it. If it's not flowing, it's not going, that's not the big yes. And that's not how I live. I have learned to live by the big yes. That's still small voice. And if, if I could leave people with anything at all, please listen to and honor it. Because someday, some, somehow, some way, by, through this, through this opportunity you've given me, I hope that a lot of people will start to honor that. And they may not say, oh, I'm not getting a big yes on that. But find some way to honor how you feel. It's so easy to say, I'm not really getting a big, a, a big yes on that and have the other person go, oh, okay, mate, no worries. There must be something else for you to do.